Okay, y'all. Good morning, good morning. It's uh, Monday morning, man. It's cold, man. It's the 8th. So, uh, I got to put gas in everything. Uh, I need to fill the truck up. I need to fill the skid steer up. Uh, I'm going over to the bamboo site. Continue working on that area that I started in. And uh, I'm trying to do a little bit better job on the time lapse video and stuff. Uh, but, you know... I really don't have a whole lot of things to talk about, man. If any of you guys got any subject y'all just want me to touch on during the course of my video, uh, y'all leave me a comment, man. Uh, I'm getting, uh, well, I'm, getting, I'm running out of stuff to talk about, right? So, so yesterday I had mentioned in the video about the rental and, uh, now, when I was talking about all that, I wasn't trying to, 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 to dig at nobody that did comment about the rental. Uh, and, you know, I was just trying to elaborate on, and for the younger guys, really, uh, on how deceiving the rental yards and their ad campaign is. Uh, if they got an ad, like I said, just if they got an ad for four sixty nine dollars a day, there's no way you're going to get out of there for four sixty nine. Well, number one, they ain't added tax onto it, so four sixty nine after you add tax onto it, that's five hundred in my world. So, and then and then or four forty eight, whatever, whatever you know they advertise, they're gonna add tax onto that. Okay, you gotta you know can't say think well. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get a skid steer and I'm gonna pay four hundred and fifty dollars or whatever you know. It, it, it's not gonna. It, 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 I've never gotten one for that cheap, but I've never rented a wheel machine either. So you know, uh, they do Home Depot. Home Depot does have them uh, uh, pretty cheap, uh, and I think they do advertise for. You know, 450, 460, 449, something like that, man. But at the end of the day, like I said yesterday, that's uh, that's good if you can get that, but I don't know that you can. Uh, and to me, and I know I'm not a rental yard, but there ain't no way I would rent my machine that I have that you see on the back of this truck that I would rent my machine out for, well, I wouldn't even rent it out for a thousand dollars a day. And that's just me. Really, that's a bad you do. That's what, but there's a lot of there's a lot of things to go on. I come out better if if somebody wanted to rent my machine and they were gonna pay a thousand dollars, then I would just run the machine. I would make sure it got to the job. See, there's a lot of things that and I can't stress it enough, there's a lot of things that can happen on the road while you're pulling a big machine like this. So, and that goes back to what I was talking about yesterday about, you know, the in-laws work and, you know, whatever, right? So, the in-laws over there, uh, to me, and a lot of you guys were, you know, I, I'm, I'm thankful for the comments, but let's try to pick apart the, the, the rationale behind it. Well, down there where they live at, it's not a big metropolitan area. It's not like even where I live at. It's certainly not like Atlanta. You know, uh, so at the end of the day, you get down there and and you're on a time project like like I was showing you guys yesterday. You get down there, and you 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 may find that you can't get all the attachments I got. A lot of the attachments that I have are hard to rent, especially like a brush cutter. That's very hard to rent. I know they rent them. Well, right, there ain't nothing to them. They got them right down here. Go try to rent it. You know. I mean, you know. Uh, the last, uh, I tried to rent a brush cutter back when my other one went down. Y'all remember that? And I called the three or four rental yards, and that includes Home Depot. Oh, I know Home Depot don't rent nothing like that. So, I called around and yeah, they rent them. Oh, let me see if we got one. Oh no, the uh, uh, our brush cutters rented out for the next two weeks or for the next month. Oh, and then there's a waiting list too. See, those are the things that you run into with the rental yards. 
and um, if I take on, which I don't even know that I'll do it, if I take on the project of in-laws and what y'all saw yesterday, then I'm gonna make sure I have all the attachments I need. And one guy coming in and said, well, it sounds like you need to get a bigger trailer. Well, I, 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 I do need a bigger trailer. I, I, I've talked about that as well. But a bigger trailer is not going to happen right now. It's not even in the in the um, works or nothing right now. So, uh, yeah. A new trailer, unless something falls in my lap. Uh, I got a lot of other things in my life that I have to pay for. Uh, and a new trailer is not an option right now. Now, if this trailer were wrecked and destroyed, then I might. But think about it. Would it be easier for me to rent a skid steer down there in Florida or rent a multitude of attachments that I got? Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to want to spend my time on the road looking for attachments while I'm down there. I'm not going to want to do that. Uh, and I'm not going to really want to haul my machine all that way. It's, it's, it's a five, five and a half hour drive one way. And, you know, uh, if you have a flat tire, it ain't worth it. If you have a wreck, it certainly ain't worth it. Now, why would I put my machine at risk if I don't have to, when I'm not making any more money or any less money because of the machine rental? They're gonna pay for that, or I, I mean, that, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, if I brought my machine down there, say, I, okay, say I, say I take my machine. Okay, well, if I take my machine, then legally and uh, weight-wise and everything, uh, was I would have to be, you know, beyond reproach, because uh, going down there where we were at. You pass by a lot of way stations, truck stations. The DOT is every freaking where around the uh, state line. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about the Georgia DOT, the Florida DOT. They're looking for truckers and anything that might be questionable. And, uh, well, really, you got to be legal. I I'm legal, you know, but if I try to pile all the attachments on to my trailer along with my skid steer, uh, it's gonna look real funny because, uh, well, you need a longer trailer. I just addressed that. So uh, now what, right? I'm not going out and spending $8,000 on a trailer today uh, to go do a job that I'm, I'm, that I'm just trying to, you know, uh, well, make sure the in-laws don't get beat. You never know, there may be some uh, some things that I can do from here, I might be able to uh, set up the work for somebody else, right? Uh, one of the guys was uh, that was saying something about the Home Depot thing. I can't remember his name. He said he owns a 97, a, a Kubota, you know, SVL 97. How far are you from Carabelle? You know, because at the end of the day, I don't really even want to do nothing like that. But uh, I will, but I would not. So let's play it on out. So I get down there, I got my machine, I got my brush cutter, and I got my grapple bucket. But I wouldn't be able to bring the power rake. And uh, I wouldn't be able to bring, uh, but one brush cutter. And if I did, and if I brought in, if I brought any more than the power rake, if I brought the power rake, it would look really funny going down the highway. Even if it is strapped down, tied down, chained down, blah 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 blah. It's going to bring attention to you. Uh, not to mention, yeah. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking and trying to save money, and you know, and that's that's good, but. Could you imagine just, I mean, and I know that it, it ain't likely, but it, it's very possible. Could you imagine me driving down there and having some kind of accident with my Kubota on the trailer where I, you know, where something happens so I get a flat tire or anything? Do you, well, you just changed the tire out, Ray. But yeah, I get it. I, I, I mean, I get it. 
and you just chain it thing down to 10 ways a Sunday where the DOT can't say nothing. I get that part too. But at the end of the day, I would not jeopardize that. Now, if my in-laws came to me and said, Ray, we'll give you $10,000 if you'll come clean all this crap up for us. Well, then I might take some of your guys' suggestions such as a hot shot driver to drive uh, the stuff down there, but you got to get it back. You know, I don't want to be in a spot where uh, I got all this equipment down there and I'm going to have to pay five or $600 to get, get it back home. So uh, to me, and y'all follow along for a second, to me, that would be the, the most difficult way for me to do that little job down there taking my machine with minimal attachments and then having to get down there and then I only realize I need another attachment or I need this or uh, you know I, if I go down there I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do everything I'm gonna power rake I want to have the power rake down there because well the the neighbors all around there once they see my machine there or a machine there I might be able to get more money uh, I, uh, you know in the course of the time that I'm there by power raking other driveways right there you know, I, I, I could probably get a little more work because uh, people down there in that area right there, they got money. They're living right on the water, on the river that goes into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Um, so, hard to set all that up from here. Uh, and not to mention, if something, <laughs> you know, you get down there around that swampy water that y'all saw what if i fall in i don't want my machine to fall in that's what a rental's for that's what i think a rental's for um but the main thing is hauling my machine uh it's either two things you can either haul i can either haul my machine down there with an attachment or two or i can haul four or five attachments and rent a machine right if you go down there and you try to rent the attachments I got, if they're even available, you're probably going to be at five or six hundred dollars a day every day that you have the attachments. And considering I don't really know what attachments are available down there, and considering the timing is going to be critical, because when I, if I go down there to do it, then uh, I'm not going to want to spend my time chasing down attachments I may or may not need. And I'm not going to want to spend my time running back and forth to the rental yard uh, to get different attachments as they're available and all that. With the skits there, I could just rent it and we'll say, we'll probably just do the rental for a week, right? And then I'll bring it back whenever I'm done uh, and then they'll prorate, you know, the difference or whatever. Now, they did say they would do that. So, the 600 or so a day that the rental yard would charge per day it's a little bit cheaper if you do it by the week i want to say um under two thousand for the week so it ends up being a lot cheaper that's the only way to do to do that but you got to have enough work for the week and then on top of all that another thing that i didn't even think about until last night is okay say i, I i'm going to rent the machine from down there okay so I, I, I load my attachments on here with my machine, right? Strap everything down, got all the attachments I need. Now all I need is a skid steer once I get down there. So I pull up to my in-laws, got my trailer loaded. This trailer right here loaded. Everything but the skid steer. I got a problem. How do I get all the attachments off of the trailer without a skid steer? I thought about that last night. Because if I got to pay for them to deliver the machine and pick it up, that's a whole nother, well, that's another four or five hundred dollars round, you know, round trip. I guess I could figure out a way to get the attachments off uh, of the trailer, you know. But we would have the grapple bucket, the tooth bucket, the power rake, and brush cutter. Those are the four attachments we would have and they would be on the trailer nice and neat and not a lot of weight for my trailer at all to drive that far. I'd feel really, you know, 
be just like not pulling nothing. Uh, and then if I had a wreck, it ain't it ain't detrimental to my livelihood, detrimental to my business, detrimental to everything. You have a wreck with my skid steer on here, I'm going. It, 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 I mean, that could bankrupt me, man. You know, I, I can't take no hit like that. You got insurance, but see, I ain't trying to go through all of that, man. All right, y'all. So I got the fire going. Uh, just a little bit. That's that bamboo popping and crackling. Uh, I just poured a little diesel on it to get it going. Everything's a little bit, well, a little bit wet. Now I'm finna go over here. Y'all see over here to that area right there. I'm gonna set y'all up on a tripod somewhere. All right, y'all. So uh, y'all see what I got done the other day. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera over there on the other side of the dumpster so y'all can see me, see everything this way. Uh, and I don't know if that's good or bad, but I can't fool with the camera too much today. There's a lot, there's a lot to do over here, and I gotta think about what I'm doing. Uh, all right, time lapse coming. So like I was saying, the bamboo, uh, I'm getting it all up. I'm going to be putting block and brick into the damn dumpster right here. Uh, it's a big mess on the ground in here. Uh, so we'll try to probably end up, uh, not today, but getting that, getting these sweet gum trees that y'all see right here at some point, uh, and just leave the pine trees, uh, but the goal is to make all this kind of smooth. Uh, it's gonna be hard to do. I'm fixing to reach in there and grab that big hunk right there and put it on the damn burn pile. Uh, but yeah, this is a mess and there's, there are thousands and thousands of blocks and bricks all on the ground up here. It's a, it's a nightmare. So look at, look at Chucky, look at the tracks on Chucky. Damn, muddy, muddy. But anyway, back to time lapse. y'all so y'all see y'all see how big that look at look at this this is what the bamboo does to dirt it, it takes all your good topsoil and uh that makes it pretty pretty freaking brutal man because the machine has a hard time digging it up too and that's i mean that's a lot of weight right there so pretty much what it does y'all it makes it where this dirt is not usable i mean Who's gonna go through there and pull all this stuff out? You know, look at that. Look how big that stuff is. It's a nasty, nasty thing, man. Uh, but y'all kind of see where I'm at. I've got a pretty good bit done today. I've been over here about four and a half hours or something like that. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna fix and load up now. Uh, I mean, all 
all that. I'm, I'm, we're gonna have to figure out what to do with all this stuff right here. We got, it's gonna cost a pretty penny to get all this stuff loaded out here. But y'all saw how I was just digging around in here and there's gonna be more of that. And then I'll bring the power rake over here. We're gonna get it like that. But until I dig it up, there ain't no point in doing none of that. Cause the power rake catches on everything. You gotta remove probably about eight inches of soil to get uh to get all the roots you're not gonna get them all but we want to make it where we put a lawnmower on it if we can put a lawnmower on this then the bamboo won't come back you just got to keep it cut because we do regular maintenance over here so this that area and that area all that is uh it's gonna be grass and as long as we put a lawnmower on it the bamboo always goes where there is no uh, way to cut the grass or whatever. Like, it just seems we're real weird. Wherever we're able to cut the grass on the reg, bamboo won't grow. So, and I mean, it is uh, brutal. And you know, this is my buddy over here and I'm doing him a solid. But if you were paying somebody, and he's paying me, but if you were paying somebody full retail to do what I'm doing over here, just this little area right here, to dig it up, hard, well, to dig it all up and get it all uh, graded back, grass seed down and everything. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it didn't take, uh, yeah quite a few thousand dollars three thousand dollars give or take something like that just based on the freaking time that you're here i mean because if a customer any of my customers had an area like this regular customers had an area like this man i'll probably charge them three thousand dollars man and it's rough on the machine too so uh to me it's just another day but uh that's all i got today y'all uh, we're going, we, we finna probably order me a Sammy today. Uh, yeah. And look at the machine. Oh my God. Dirty as hell. But anyway, y'all see how big that is, man. It's crazy. So y'all saw what I got done, man. Not much of a video today, but that bamboo is really, really something. I can't, I've never seen anything like it, man, you know. Uh, and once I get done with that area, then that'll be about all the bamboo removal over here that uh, that we really need to do. Because see, what I'm doing that uh, a lot of guys may not do you know, if he were to hire somebody straight up to do that. Well, number one, that costs a lot more money. But number two is uh, I'm gonna make sure that while I'm here, that I'm getting uh, the stumps and stuff as well. Uh, you know, so the bamboo won't come back. That's where it tends to grow uh, all around stuff where you can't get to the ground. Uh, so, uh, that area that I just got done with today, not done, but, you know, worked on, uh, for the last two days, um, it's good enough now to where you can just about put, a, you know, put a lawnmower on it. Our thing that we, our biggest bottleneck is what to do with all four of these piles I got. Now I can load it into that dumpster, but that dumpster is what was not supposed to be for that. So I'm going to get him to call the dumpster people and see if we can just put bamboo and roots and that kind of thing in there and brick and block and you know uh, i don't want to just fill it up with stuff and then you know uh you know not be able to get it out of here um uh, dirt's real heavy you don't want to fill that thing up with dirt that would be yeah 15 or 20 yards of dirt Oh my God, that'd be like, 
18 truckloads of dirt. It's a lot of dirt. Bigger than a tandem truck. But he may know somebody. But he may know somebody that, that has a tandem that'll, that will haul it off. You know, I can load it onto whatever is out here. He really needs to have a dumpster, a big, uh, a couple of uh, big dumpsters out here and just let me fill that up because uh, with a tandem truck, we're going to have to time everything up for me to be here and the, and the driver to be here at the same time. And that, sometimes that's hard to do uh, with the weather and everything. So, but yeah, man, it's all good, dude. Y'all, yeah, I hope everybody has a good day and deuces, man, we'll kick it.